Hello. Hello, Stampers. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Sunday video. This is Laura Buchler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. And of course, today's video is different. Today we are going to be live, which I never do. I never go live. Maybe by the end of today we'll know why. We're gonna go live to unbox my new annual catalog pre-order. You can see, can you see this here? The box is still sealed. It arrived on Thursday and I have not yet opened it. So, please say hello in the comments so I can see who's joining me today. Arvin is here. Arvin, yay, thanks Arvin. Thanks for joining me. Lori is watching. Hi Lori, that's great to have you here. And if you have questions or comments or you wanna see something close up or anything else, just throw me a comment. I've got Chris here moderating the comments for me because he's so awesome. And he'll let me know what everyone is saying. So today I'm gonna to show you all the awesome new goodies I got in my annual catalog pre-order. And being able to see and order from the new catalog before anyone else is one of the many perks of being a demonstrator. Kathy says hello from Texas. Oh, Kathy, wow. Joining from a long way away. What time is it in Texas? Is it the same time zone? I don't even know. So this new annual catalog will start for the customers on May 4th, and it is 180 pages of wonderful creative inspiration. And I can't show you what's inside it yet, but I can show you the cover. I can show you the back cover and I can show you the awesome goodies that are in this box. So let's get on with that. Now, if you have ordered from me in the past year, you'll be getting a catalog from me in the mail. That should be coming in the next couple weeks. And if you haven't, if you'd like to get a catalog from me and you don't know if you're getting one, then let me know in the comments. Tell me that you want a catalog and I'll get one to you. Or if you're thinking, I'm not sure if you sent me a catalog, Laura, can you tell me? I sure can. Drop me a comment. Kathy says it's 3.03 p.m. 3.03 p.m. Okay, so two hours ahead. How's the future look, Kathy? <laughs> I hope it's bright. <laughs> okay. Deanna's popped in and says, hi, Laura. Deanna? Mm -hmm. Hi, Deanna. Thanks for coming. Okay, let's get all this goodness out of the box and then we can dive into it. Oh my gosh, there's my new in color ink pads. I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Uh, someone called Jenna Logan. Jenna Logan? Says, Hi, my friend. Jenna Logan knows a thing or two about going live because she does it every week, not like me. I'm a never never. Thanks for being here, Jenna. Oh my gosh, here it all is. Do we need to adjust our camera? Yes, we do. Okay. It appears to have gotten locked. My cinematographer is helping me out here. Is that better? Bear with us, everyone. Oh, there's always technical difficulties. Okay. Okay. While you're doing that, can I show off the new in colors? Go for it. Okay, here they are. Every year, Stampin' Up! introduces five new, whoa, five new in colors, and they're all very hard to hold in just one hand. So these beautiful colors are gonna be with us for two years. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. This is my first time seeing them in person. So we've got Fresh Freesia, Pale Papaya, Polished Pink, it's a lot of peas. Soft succulent and evening evergreen. I'm most excited to see this one because it looks so dark, but it's not green or it's not black. It's actually green. So we're gonna play with that today for sure. So beautiful in colors. I also got the markers of those same beautiful colors. Am I going too fast? Anyone want to see things closer? Let me know. Comment in the chat if you want to slow down. Jen says, look at the treasure! I know, it's treasure! 
According to Kathy, the future is currently sunny, but rain is coming later this week. Oh, all right. And DMs love the new colors. I love them too. It's always a challenge to figure out which one is my favorite. So I have some beautiful pale papaya ribbon and it's got white edges. I think that's so pretty. It's just like, it's peachy. I don't know what papayas look like. I guess they look like that. All right. Now these, I got these genial gems. I love the beautiful self-adhesive gems that Stampin' Up! has. Um, if you saw my last video, you know these are super easy to apply with your Take Your Pick tool. And these also match the um, soft succulent and pale papaya colors. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, I'm excited to see this. Okay, so Frosted and Clear Epoxy Droplets. These are in the current annual catalog and they are one of my absolute favorite embellishments because you can just put them on anything. They're, they're clear, they go with everything. Silver, sparkly, wonderful. But they're discontinuing these, but they're bringing in these instead. So I was so excited to compare the two of them. So you can see these have got the same sparkle, but they're coming in more different sizes and they're coming in different shapes. So can you see there, there's a diamond shape, there's a round shape. Looks like up under here, we're gonna open this right up because why not, it's my life. I got nothing else to do today. Oh, look at that, it's droplet shapes, like for water, for raindrops. And then this sheet behind, okay, so these are all the clear ones and these are all the frosted ones. Oh my goodness, so those are super awesome. I still love these and I'm gonna keep using them until I run out, but this is the new version and you get a lot of sparkly, beautiful embellishments there. So that's an awesome, awesome deal. Okay, clear some space to see what else I got. Okay, I've got this gorgeous designer series paper. Let's open it right up. Well, you're opening it right up. Yes. Uh, Oswald Snigglesworth the third is watching. Oh, hey, Oswald. And uh, Deanna says she loves the new colors, which I mentioned already, and she got that uh, peach ribbon as well. Yes. Which now that I cranked the brightness up on my screen, actually looks peach in the video because it's looking a bit goldy. Mm, okay. And uh, Jess's are very pretty. Those adhesive droplets would be so versatile. Oh yeah, they're gonna go on everything. So these goodies here are from the Beauty of Friendship suite. And this is a suite that I've ordered the entire suite. One of the items did not come in today's order because it, uh, it was not ready yet due to COVID challenges with manufacturing, but I got three of them. So let's have a look. We've got this gorgeous designer series paper. Is that a good view of it there? Can you see it or do you want me to hold it up? Uh, if you hold it up just a little bit yeah. closer. Yeah. Because it can't tends the detail gets a bit lost when it's Yeah. Really okay. Have a look at that. So it's all these beautiful tree patterns. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look at that. Those are so pretty. So you could just cut that right there and you've got a card front. You're ready. Okay. Beautiful foliage ferns. Oh my goodness, I love all these colors too. These are gonna be good for every season. So pretty. Now if you're looking at this and you're thinking, I love this, what color is that? Well, guess what? When you look at this beautiful paper in the catalog, when you're finally able to look at the catalog, or look at it online, or when you order it, all of those places will show you the colors that it goes with. So this is the paper that came right in the pack with it telling me all the colors that go with that beautiful paper. So I don't have to wonder. I can buy any of those colors of cardstock or embellishments, ribbon, markers, ink, and I know it's gonna match this paper gorgeously. So let's look at the other side. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful wood grain. That's just stunning. How awesome is that gonna be for Father's Day cards? Awesome masculine cards for that important occasion coming up. And look at this. 
beautiful. Stampin' Up! has been, lately they've been getting actual live watercolor artists to come and paint all the designs and then they take those paintings and turn them into paper and you can sure tell that these were actually painted because you can see all the brush strokes and it's just stunning. So along with that paper, we've got the Beauty of Friendship bundle and somewhere there's gonna be dies that go with that. We're getting some comments. Yes, we are. Uh, Janice says, this paper collection is singing to my horticultural heart. <laughs> Our mom says, her boys love some pink too. I was going to comment on Sure, that. yeah. I was also going to make a really bad joke about the wood grain, but I decided against it. Well, I'm function. glad. I'm glad that you decided against it. Yes, the paper's Ooh. amazing. Our mom says, I love that BSP. Yeah. Trees. Trees. I'm all about the trees. I just discovered that recently. So look at this cool uh, insert that they've given us now with the stamp set that's gonna have the outlines of all the stamps. So you'll be able to tell when you have this insert in, you'll be able to tell that your stamps are all there. That's brilliant. Look at that. They line up marvelously. So these are our beautiful photopolymer stamps, which are so easy to stamp with because you can see exactly where you're stamping. And then some of those stamps are gonna coordinate with the dies here. Now, can you see, there we go. This amazing tree is gonna cut out and it's gonna create this beautiful branchy tree. I don't know why, that just makes me so happy. And then you can, use these other ones to make leaves and the leaves could be on the tree or the leaves could be on the ground because it's autumn. I don't know. There's just something about that tree image that makes me so happy. You could just use that all year round. So that's the beauty of friendship bundle that's part of that suite. And then the other item that's part of that suite that has not arrived to me yet is a 3D embossing folder that creates a bark pattern. So you can emboss your cardstock and it's gonna look like tree bark. I'm telling you, how cool is that? Okay, let's check out my other bundle that I got, which it's not gonna surprise you. It's also tree themed. Mm -hmm. It turns out I really like trees. Arvin says she wanted to tell you about the, uh, the labels inside very much. Oh so yes, Arvin already opened her order and she knew I wasn't gonna open it until today. She was amazed at my restraint. So am I, frankly. Okay, so here we go with more trees. This is the Inspired Thoughts Bundle. So we've got this beautiful boulevard of trees and we can create ground underneath. It could be a snowy hill or a grassy one. And again, we've got all these canopies that we can use to create leaves on the trees or it could be on the ground or I guess this is gonna be a little sunshine here in the sky. And then all these terrific sentiments, which again, these are gonna be great for all year round. There's even a Christmas one in here. And I just love the font. It's just, it's such a stylish, modern font. Oh, and there's a sympathy one too. I mean, this is an incredibly versatile set. And I'm pretty sure, I would have to check the catalog to be sure, mm -hmm. but I bet this will fit in your mini machine. Uh, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Didn't notice join the chat. Mm-hmm. Scrolling through looking for it. Um, what's, is Tanya B? Tanya, Tanya B. B. Tanya. Poppy. Tanya Poppy. Poppy. It's going to be mailed to you, Tanya. Yeah, it should be coming to you in the mail in the next couple of weeks. Definitely by the end of April, you should have it. Okay, I've got more fabulous embellishments to show you. These are the ones that I fell in love with right away and I freaked out. Are you gonna freak out too? I can't wait to see if people are gonna freak out. Here they are. Freak out, people. These are the cutest stinking embellishments. Do you believe me? Okay, did everybody leave the chat now? Everybody's fed up with my puns? Uh, no, you're getting bees <laughs> and also bees. bees. I love them. They're so cute. Someone commented, 
some stingers, bee emojis. Stingers, yes. I she likes those. Yeah. So you get 20 of those in a little container. And they're meant to go with the pansy suite, but I'm gonna use them on whatever I want, because that's how I roll. So speaking of the pansy suite though, the other item I got from the pansy suite is more beautiful designer series paper, which Arvin shared with me. So this is the, I believe it's called pansy patch designer series paper. And it's gorgeous, as you can see. You can see how gorgeous it is. You don't need me to tell you. It needs more bees. It needs more bees. Well, fortunately, we're ready. We're ready to add bees. Just add bees. Ooh, look at that gingham. Good for bees. <laughs> yep. Get your beesness taken care of. Oh, more gingham. Loving that. Now these. I believe, I believe, these will cut out with the dies from the Pansy Bundle. Arvin can confirm that for me because she ordered them. I did not order them. Oh my gosh, there's bees on this paper. Arvin confirms that you're both the bees knees and yes, the dies do cut out. There you go. And more bees on this paper. And you can see all of these colors in the pansy paper are actually the new in colors that I showed you at the beginning. So I'm loving this. It's super gorgeous. I can't wait to create with it. Let's see what else is in this fabulous bag that Arvin gave me. Tanya comments that uh, the bees would also go really well on the dandy paper. Yes, they would. The bees would go super well on the dandy paper. Tanya's been creating beautiful stuff with the with the dandy paper and the dragonfly bundle. Okay, so, ooh, 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 what have we got in here? We've got in color cardstock and in color ribbon. And I know you've heard me say it a thousand times, but it's true. One of my favorite, 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 favorite things about Stampin' Up! is how perfectly everything coordinates. So you look at the ink and the ribbon and the cardstock and the markers. And I'm not done yet, because somewhere in here I got jewels. Oh my goodness, look at how nicely it all matches, right? Oh, we're gonna have to open this. We're gonna have to open this because look at how she packaged this for me in blends packaging. Very clever. Look at that evening evergreen. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. This is like, I know why I love this color. This is the color of my grad dress. Green velvet. I'm also pretty sure that's the color of the dress that I first met you in. That's true. I guess I like dark green and trees. That's what we're learning. All right, somewhere in all of this mess. Ooh. Arvin mm -hmm. says, look at a piece of the cardstock. It has a texture to it, or texture. Really? Well then. Oh, it does. Can you see that? It's good and thick too. This is not wimpy cardstock. All right. Somewhere on this table that's covered in stuff, I have the in color jewels, but I'm not sure if I can find them. And that's okay. That's okay. We've looked at lots of awesome stuff. I've got a little bit more to show you. And then you can tell me, okay, here's one thing I can show you. Baker's twine. Who's been asking for Baker's twine? I have. I've been asking for thick baker's twine, and instead of giving it to us in only white, they gave it to us in five different colors. They're calling it the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack, and you get 35 yards of twine. So, that's awesome. I love twine. Twine goes on everything. Fabulous colors. Okay, two more things to look at. 
awesome Memories and More pack. This is with the hand penned. So that goes with those beautiful jewels that I showed you earlier, the Genial Gems. And some of these items that you're seeing today, by the way, are going to be prizes in my upcoming catalog launch party. So let's see if I can very skillfully clean this stuff up and tell you about the catalog launch party at the same time. And while I'm doing that, you can tell me if you want to see me craft something with these brand new things that just arrived. Okay, catalog launch party is happening Thursday, May 6th at 7 p.m. And it's a free event, it'll be happening on Zoom. We'll be playing with new catalog goodies and having fun and winning prizes and playing games and so on and so on. And anyone can come. But if you want a supply kit to craft along with me and get new products in your hands right away, then you need to RSVP with me by April 29th. And some of the things that you've seen here today are going to be prizes at that party. So if you wanna to come to the party, put a comment in the comment section right now and say, I'm coming to that party and I'll make sure to get in touch with you and get you your kit. Okay. Uh, Janet says she would love to see some sweet bee themed projects. Oh, bee themed. I don't know if I can pull that out right away, but we'll see. Anybody else got a vote whether they want to see crafting or not? Uh, Tanya says she's coming to the party. Tanya's coming to the party. Awesome. Tanya won a lot of prizes at the last party, I recall. I'll also tell you another opportunity to get the absolute most out of this fantastic catalog is to join my Stampers Club. So this is a hostess club where every member commits to spending $20 a month for 10 months and every member gets a chance to earn those hostess rewards, which means free product. So the free product is guaranteed to be at least $25, but it's often more in the $75 to $150 range because we all love to buy beautiful, amazing crafting supplies. So yeah, I just gave away, or Stampin' Up! just gave away like $160 to my uh, hostess for this month, and uh, that could happen for you if you join the club, and I'd love to have you. And in addition to that, in addition to getting awesome free product, you get to meet some truly wonderful people as we craft together every month. Right now, the crafting nights are virtual on Zoom, but someday we'll be back in person again, hanging out in my dining room. And either way, we have a lot of fun. So contact me if you want this here, and uh, just let me know if you're interested. And by the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I love to spoil my team members and everybody who joins my club before August 1st is going to get a free set of fabulous catalog tabs to dress up their new catalog and make it easy for you to find all the goodies that you want. So contact me if you're interested in joining that club. All right, have we got any more votes? Uh, everybody's saying, sure, yes please projects, yes okay. create something please, why haven't you created something yet? <laughs> Get on with I'm it. I'm really surprised. Stop that talking and craft something. something. Yes. Okay. Well, let's do it. I'm going to get quieter now as I craft because I'll be concentrating. I'm using our note cards and envelopes because I figured that would be a nice, easy place to start rather than having to cut a bunch of cardstock. So I'm just using my bone folder to burnish those. If any of you here today are just beginning with Stampin' or not even begun yet, not even sure where to begin, buying a pack of note cards and envelopes is a great place to start because that work is done for you. You don't have to cut and measure anything. You've already got a card. And then you can just stamp on it and stamp your envelope to coordinate and you've got a beautiful gift to give somebody. Okay, so of course we're gonna use our beautiful new ink pads. And for anybody who doesn't know, and I do have some, sometimes people don't know, all the labels for your ink pads are on the bottom. So when I set up my ink pad, what I wanna do is take off the English label as I speak English 
and I put it on there. And now I can see what color that's for. I also like, there's a blank label here that also shows the color. It doesn't have any writing on it. And I like to put that one in here, but I won't do that right now because I know we want to get on with the crafting. Let's find some stamps. What was the date of the launch party again, Laura? It is Thursday, May 6th at 7 p.m. I will be partying away on Zoom. No, is all the stuff you're showing is this all like a kit set oh that's a good question this is not all a kit set this was all stuff that I chose individually and every product that you're seeing you can purchase individually or you can purchase them all together okay so we're gonna stamp this tree in Pale papaya. Oh my goodness. Look at the dimension of that. That's so stinking beautiful. You know what? Um, okay. Can you go get my early espresso ink from the craft room? It's going to be on the far left side with the neutrals. Okay. And then I will hold this up closer. Can you see all the dimension of that? Like the tree has two different shades. I don't know how else to say it. It's got all this texture. And you saw me, I only stamped it once and it just did that magically. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna give this tree a trunk. So it's not just floating in space. Arden wants to know when can customers purchase it? They can purchase from this catalog starting May 4th, which is a, must be a Tuesday. There we go. Ooh, look at that. So you'll see, I don't even know if you can see this down here, but I just stamped off my early espresso ink on the paper here so that uh, my tree trunk would not be too dark. And I see that I smudged it and that is tragic. But don't worry, I'm just gonna embellish it. Maybe I'll put a B there. Okay, here we go. I believe in you. Now I didn't bring out any adhesive, so I can't actually stick this down right now. But there you go, I believe in you. And then, oh yeah, let's do this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gonna take this little one. It's like a little speckly thing. And I'm gonna put this on the envelope. So there we go. We got one card done with our beautiful new pale papaya. All right, which color do we wanna see next? I'll get them all out so you can see them and I'll get them open and you can tell me what you want me to stamp with. Arvin has replied, I believe in you too. <laughs> Thank you, Arvin, you're so kind. Jenna's coming to the party. Jenna's coming? Well, I know it's gonna be a party now. We have one book for succulent. Okay, it's a good one, good one. Cleaning off my stamps with my chamois over here. Um, can you just tap each one and tell me what the colors are again? Yes. We've got Evening Evergreen, Fresh Freesia, Soft Succulent, and Polished Pink. I hope those are all in the frame for you. Okay, so I heard succulent. Uh, Lori has suggested 
Evening evergreen. Mmm. Okay. We'll do succulent and then evening evergreen. We have another vote for evergreen. Mmm. I think they're just going to say all the colors. They're just going to say honest. all the colors. It seems like. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We've got them all. Good work, everyone. What a committed bunch. Polished pink, fresh bees, yeah. Polished pink, which one? And then at the end, you can tell me which one's your favorite. You know what's gonna happen too? At the end of this video, I'm gonna have five cards and I'm gonna need to give them away. So you know that you need to share the video and then you'll get a chance to win the cards. Oh, I don't know that. That's what I do every week. Are you telling me you don't watch my videos every week? Uh, no, <laughs> usually I'm fighting with... Usually you're looking after our kids so that I have time to make videos. Okay, that time I did not stamp off the early espresso, so it's very dark. We'll see if I end up regretting that. All right, so here we go with soft succulent. Mm. Oh my goodness, y'all. Is that good right there? Can you see that? Okay, push it slightly towards the bar a little bit more. Because remember, the camera's on the far end right. of the phone. That's showing it a bit more, a little bit more. There, oh, that's nice. Okay. <laughs> Are they all ooing and aahing? Um, Janice commented, that's pretty. It's so pretty. Can you believe I got that with one stamp? All those shades of green? Love it. Okay, it needs a sentiment. This one's also going to be I believe in you. Next. This is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I will decorate the envelope, but you don't I didn't turn. Yeah, so before we did that. Now. Yeah. Okay. So, what are we on next? Uh, uh the evening evergreen. Right? Okay. Got to clean off my stamp here. Nice. It's very nice. Yeah. Like, it's so I'm, pretty. I'm about two feet away from it at a bad angle, and even I could see mm -hmm. just all that the texture. texture. Yeah. Yeah. It's stunning. This is one thing. Like you see it in the catalog, and you go, "Oh yeah, okay," but then when you see it in real life, it's a whole different story. Okay. So we're done with that one. Marvin says to change your tree. Change the tree, sure, why not? Ooh, Change it up. Here. Who's here? Val. Hey, Val. The whole party's here today, I'm telling ya. I think we have a request from Val to uh, have Pixel <laughs> on stream. <laughs> he heard his name. He perked right up there. And by perked up, he lifted his head less than an inch off his back yeah. and then went back down. That's all he needs. Okay, so we're gonna change the tree. We're going to do one of these ones. Ooh, for this one. We're going to change our sentiment too. We're going to have, you truly inspire me. Okay. All right, so, see, I haven't put my label on. I can't tell what this is. This is my espresso. Stamp it off. Ooh, that's not espresso. That's my evening evergreen. Well, that's silly. That can't be the trunk. Maybe it's moss covered. But then there won't be any contrast between the tree and the trunk. So I'm going to clean that and try again. I didn't stamp it yet, so no harm has been done. chat if mm -hmm. that screech noise when she wipes it on the chamois <laughs> comes across on the video feed and makes your hair stand on end like it does mine. Uh, I I don't find it to be a problem. Does it make your hair stand on end? It's like fingers on end. Oh, I guess. But you know that it's not actually... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You have positive associations with it. So I, sure yeah, that's true. Right? I can see that it's just something being wiped on a cloth. It's not scraping or well, it's like when being I awful. Take the oven mitt and slide it on the counter and oh. make that horrible sound. Even Marvin says it totally came through, but it's not hair raising though. Okay. She also has positive associations with it. Okay. 
Now I put my, I'm gonna use this scrap paper here because I put my tree very close to the edge. So I'm just lining up that scrap paper on the fold of the card so that the tree will, oh, it's gonna be all right anyway. There we go. Ooh, I didn't stamp very well. That happens sometimes, but it's still really pretty. So that's what evening evergreen looks like. And let's have our sentiment. You truly inspire me. And don't worry, person who's gonna win this card when they share the video, I will make you a new version that doesn't have a big blurch there. That's a good spot for it. I mean, we could put a really big B there. That's like a murder hornet size, right? That might be frightening more than anything. You truly inspire me to stay inside away from the murder hornets. <laughs> Oh, what a laugh in the chat. <laughs> Arvin says she still misses the snail sound, though. Oh, the sound of the clickety-click adhesive. Uh, I like that sound, too. I know when I hear it, I know it's working. I feel like I'm accomplishing something. Okay. So, does it matter which one we do next? Let's do polished pink, because that's the one I pulled out. Oh, it's a sticky one, but I got it. All right. Let's find the espresso ink and stamp a tree trunk. There it is. And there's the tree. A pink tree. What do we all think of that? Well, if it looks that gorgeous, I'm in favor of it. Once I find my in-color gems, I'm gonna have to embellish these cards a little bit too. So they'll look even better for you, person who's gonna win after sharing the video. Ooh. Did you all get to see that one? Did I hold it up enough for you? Hey, just that's what I was thinking. It's got a lovely cherry blossom feel to it. Yeah, right? It's true. Okay, so I'm about to stamp the very last one, which means I'm almost out of excuses to keep talking to you all. So what do I need to say? First of all, let me know if you have any questions. I know there's been a few questions. If you have any more, this is a good time to shout them out so Chris can tell me what they are. Uh, somebody implied that they're, uh, would they do like a Vespa murder hornet set for Halloween? <laughs> And if you have the ability to forward that on to head office for suggestions. Uh, I will. I will forward it on. That might have been, that someone might have been me. That's someone, <laughs> hey? Good old someone. You're one of my favorite someones, so, you know. Anyone remember what the last color is that I'm about to stamp with? I bet Arvin will. Is that in the way? No, I'm just looking at which oh. ones you have to see if I can remember. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna stamp here. Apparently turning off or turning on your do not disturb does not prevent you from getting messenger kids video calls. Mm. Lesson learned. Freesia. It is, who said that? Uh, Jenna, then Arvin, then Laurie, and then I read it out loud, so I'm going forth. <laughs> well done everybody, it is Freesia. There you go. Super gorgeous. Okay. Oh, can you hold it back yes, up? Yes, I can. Towards the... Yes, there we go. I'm gonna get them all out here. 
That's better. Is that oh, good? That's lovely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That, oh yeah. That passionate pink would be like a lovely cherry blossom hue. Right. Okay, here we go. I mean, how quick and simple was that to make five cards? Simpler than it is to find all of them when you're done. There we go. I got them. Put the ink pad there so they can look pretty for a little display shot. All right, so now I get to do my outro that you hear every week, which is thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here for a live video. And please let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the live video format or if you like the ultra edited version that I usually do or you like both or you have suggestions or just anything you wanna tell me throw it my way and we'll see what I can do about it. Um, you have a chance to win these cards when you share the video. So please leave me a comment and let me know that you've shared and maybe you'll be getting them in the mail. I thank you so much for watching and I'll remind you that all of these products and many, 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 many more will be available for you to purchase starting May 4th on my website, inkyfingers.ca. And you'll also find more project tutorials, current promotional details and catalogs, and the sign up for my monthly email newsletter. And in next month's newsletter, I'm going to be including a tutorial, including this, uh, the tutorial will feature this bundle, the Beauty of Friendship bundle, and you don't want to miss it. So make sure you subscribe today. And in the meantime, in the next few days, be sure that you check out the retirement list and place an order for any of your must have items that are retiring. And do not wait on that because some of the items are sold out already. And as you all know, I'm not currently offering in-person classes, but you can visit my website to see all the different virtual events I'm offering, including creativity to go, mystery stamping, bring your own project, and lots more fun stuff. And all of the classes are fun, social, creative, and welcoming, and I hope to see you there soon. And if you do place an order, please use the current hostess code, which you can find on my website, because everyone who uses that code will get a free gift from me. If you'd like to earn your own hostess rewards, there's no better time to do it than a brand new catalog launch party. All you need to do is place an order of over $200 or contact me and we'll start planning your own online party. Have a great day, everyone. Happy stampin'. Thank you so much for joining me. See you again soon. Bye.